In the last video, we have learned about the multiplexers. What is a multiplexer? What are the purpose of a multiplexer? And we have uh, learned different types of multiplexer: two is to one max, four is to one max, like that. So, in that video, you have noticed that if there are n select inputs, two raised to n inputs are possible for a multiplexer. That is, for a two is to one max, you have noticed that the number of select input was one, and for an 4 is to 1 max the number of select inputs was 2 that is 2 raised to 2 means it is 4 then for an 8 is to 1 max then the number of select inputs needed is 3 so for an uh, 8 is to 1 max uh, 3 select inputs will be there so 2 raised to 3 will be equal to 8 so like that for an 16 is to 1 max number of select input is 4 and in this video we are mainly focusing on a different type of problem uh, that are uh, commonly asked in different uh, university question papers that is implement the following expression using a multiplexer and the function is given in terms of min terms that is the function is f of a comma b comma z is equal to sigma m of 0 2 4 6 how can we do this problem so for that first we have to determine which max we have to use we know that the standard uh, max we are using is 2 is to 1 4 is to 1 8 is to 1 16 is to 1 like that so for uh, deciding the max we have to observe the function clearly the maximum the, uh, the highest value of min term here is 6 so we have to choose a max having input just higher than the maximum value of that min term the min term is 6 so we have to choose an 8 is to 1 max and also we know that for representing 6 we need 3 bits therefore 3 select inputs are needed for an max for a uh, if the select inputs are 3 then uh, the input of that multiplexer will be 8 so we are choosing 8 is to 1 max so anyway you can choose the uh, type of max here and after that uh, you have to connect a logic 1 for the min terms present so the min terms present here is m0 m2 m4 and m6 so you, are, uh, you have to connect a logic 1 to the corresponding data inputs d0 d2 d4 and d6 and uh, we have to connect the logic 0 to all other data inputs that is 1 3 5 and 7 okay it's a simple problem and uh, the another type of problem is that the implement the logic function y is equal to sigma m of 1 3 4 6 using a 4 is to 1 max how it can we do it here by observing the function we know that the uh, min term the maximum value of min term is 6 so we have to use an 8 is to 1 max for this purpose but we are asked to do it we are asked to implement the function using an 4 is to 1 max only so for that first we have to do the 4 is to 1 max here and uh, we know that for an 4 is to 1 max two select inputs will be there and four uh, data inputs will be there that is d0 to d3 and after that we have to draw a design table okay The design table contains the columns of the design table contains the available input of 4 is to 1 max that is d0 d1 and d2 and d3 and the row the corresponding element in the row is a here this a is the unused variable here because uh, we know that for an 4 is to 1 max 2 select inputs will be there so the function is a 3 variable function so we are connecting the variables b and c to the corresponding select mode in s1 and s0 and the unused variable here is a so here we are writing the unused variable in complemented form and an uncomplemented form as the raw element okay and after that we have to uh, write the corresponding numbers in the normal order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 not based on the uh, cam map here we are using the normal order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay and after that we have to encircle the uh, the min terms present here that is the min terms present here is 1 3 4 and 
6 so here uh, we are encircling the 1 3 4 and 6 okay then after that we have to observe the design table and here we are having the four rules the four rules are uh, the second uh, here and uh, the second rule says that from the design table if both the min terms in a column are not encircled then apply a logic zero to the corresponding data input that is if both the inputs in a column if the both the min terms in a column are not encircled we have to apply a logic zero here but there are no such case here and also in the fourth case in the fourth rule if both the min terms in a column are encircled then apply a logic one that case is also not here and in the third and fourth case if only the min term in the second row is encircled then here the second row here the second row is connected to corresponding a okay and the uh, corresponding uh, encircled data pins are d0 and d2 here the 4 and 6 are encircled the corresponding data pins is d0 and d2 so we have to connect the element a the variable a to d0 and d2 so the variable a is connected to d0 and d2 okay then after that we have to observe the first row the first row 1 and 3 are encircled the 1 is corresponding to d1 and 3 is corresponding to d3 okay so we have to uh, apply this a bar the variable a bar to the corresponding data pins d1 and d3 so here you can see that uh, a bar is applied to d1 and d3 here a is available so uh, i have used a not gate here so that the output of the not gate will be a bar and that a bar is connected to d1 and d3 so likewise we can do this uh, this type of problems and the next problem is the implement the boolean function using 8 is to 1 max and the function is f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 2 4 5 7 10 14 okay and we know that the max the max we have to use here is 8 is to 1 max but there are four variables okay in actual case we have to use an a 16 is to 1 max here but we have to implement this function using an 8 is to 1 max so like in the uh, previous case first we have to draw an 8 is to 1 max and uh, uh, the uh, the four variables are there in that b c d is connected as the uh, three selected inputs b c d and the unused variable is a and we have to draw the design table the design table the row, uh, the column elements in the design table contains the input of our 81 max d0 to d7 so we have written d0 to d7 here and the uh, unused variable is uh, a so we have written a bar and a and uh, write the numbers here 0 1 up to 15 in the normal order and we have to encircle the min terms present the min terms present here is 2 4 5 7 10 and 14 so encircle 2 4 5 7 10 and 14 okay and after that observe the design table and we get it as uh, for the data inputs d0 d1 and d3 none of the min term is encircled here so we have to connect a logic 0 to the corresponding data inputs d0 d1 and d3 so d0 d1 and d3 is connected to logic 0 okay and for d2 uh, d2 uh, both the min terms are encircled so uh, we have to connect a logic 1 to d2 okay d2 is connected to logic 1 and by um, by observing the first row 4 5 and 7 are encircled that is d4 d5 and d7 must connect to a bar okay and also this d6 must connect it to a so we have connected this uh, d6 to a and d5 d4 and d7 d4 d5 and d7 to a bar okay and one more problem is that implement the following logic function using 8 is to 1 max and uh, uh, the function is f of a comma b comma c is equal to pi m of 0 1 3 5 7 okay and uh, here the function is expressed as uh, in terms of max terms the max term okay and uh, the maximum value of max term is 7 
so we have to use an 80 to 1 max here uh, in the question also uh, we are asked to implement the function using an 80 to 1 max okay uh, so we have drawn it in 80 to 1 max three select inputs will be there we have applied the variables a b c to the three select inputs and uh, d0 to d7 are the corresponding inputs and uh, we have to apply a logic 0 to the max times present the max times present here is m0 m1 m3 m5 and m7 so we have to apply a logic 0 to the corresponding data inputs d0 d1 d3 d5 and d7 and uh, all other inputs are connected to, to logic 1 that is entirely a different case entirely opposite to that the previous case in the previous case when the function is given in terms of min terms uh, we are connecting the uh, given min terms corresponding data inputs as per the given min terms to logic 1 so here it is given as max terms so we have to connect a logic 0 to the max terms present i hope you have uh, understand the problem well and one assignment question is the uh, this is the assignment question uh, implement the following logic function using 80s to 1 max the function is f of a comma b comma c comma d one more variable is there d is there it is not uh, in the screen one more variable is there d so f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 0 1 4 6 8 11 and 15 okay so do the problem thank you